Welcome to the seventh episode of Lamp Auricular Medicine. Today we discuss the clinical energetics for the points of triangular fossa. The ear points work differently from body acupuncture points. While body acupuncture points are organized along meridians, ear points and physiological realms that they control are mediated directly by the brain. Electrical signals from external ear do not flow directly to affected body part, but to the brain. From there, they travel down spinal cord and spinal nerves to affected areas. As a result, they work faster and have a strong effect upon pain perception, moods, generalized anxiety, depression, obsessive worry, agitation, along with regulating glandular function, the mind, metabolic functions, and relaxation. The ear works faster and results are more long-lasting. Now let's go to the points of triangular fossa, one by one. The Shenman, spirit gate, is energetically equivalent to Shenman in the body. This is heart seven. In oriental medicine, spirit is stored in the heart. Like heart seven, the earth point of the heart meridian, the ear Shenman has similar energetics in grounding, balancing, and anchoring spirit. Shenman quiets the heart, calms the spirit, puts the patient into a state of receptivity for treatment. Because of these energetics, Shen Men should be the first point treated in the ear for almost every ear prescription. Noje calls Shen Men the God point. Shen Men enhances vital forces of qi and blood. In Oriental medicine, heart dominates the mind. Shen Men fulfills this function. Shen Men treats problems pertaining to the heart, so it is very good for insomnia, dream disturbed sleep, palpitations, tightness in the chest, angina, memory, concentration problems. Because of this connection to the mind, Shen Men is the major point used in detoxification protocols for symptoms of addiction withdrawal, like restlessness and anxiety, and treatment of anxiety in general. Shenmen has consistently been found as a core point in weight loss protocols for the same reasons. Anxiety and restlessness are common symptoms associated with the process of weight loss. Shenmen is a primary point for pain treatment. Neijing, Yellow Emperor's Classic of Internal Medicine, 500 to 300 BC says, when the heart is serene, all pain is negligible. So Shenmen is an integral point in any pain prescription. It is the key point in a pain management plan. Because the heart in oriental medicine is connected to the eye system by way of its internal pathway, Shenman is of benefit in the treatment of ophthalmological diseases, ocular myasthenia, congenital nystagmus, and common eye disorders. Shenman is the primary point to reduce excess heat or inflammation. It is the major point used to stop skin itching or breakouts attributed to heat in the heart or heat in the blood because heart dominates blood. The only contraindications for Shen Men are congestive heart failure and bronchitis characterized by excess phlegm, not the phlegm or dampness that may be part of other health disorders. The reason Shen Men is contraindicated for these conditions is because as a point with earth energetics, like body shenmen, it can have a dampening effect. Stimulating shenmen adds dampness to these already serious illnesses characterized by damp. Therefore, the above conditions could become exacerbated and even more life-threatening if shenmen is used. The second point is stop wheezing point, number two. This is the primary point for treatment of wheezing that accompanies asthma, bronchitis, emphysema. This is effective when combined with Ding Chuan point, which also stops wheezing, plus any of the sympathetic points that increase vasodilatation and thus improve respiration. Third is the hypertension point, number three. This is an effective point to lower high blood pressure. If the hypertension is due to yang rising with true heat, bleeding this point is effective. Hypertension point works synergistically with Shen Men, liver, heart, and the lower blood pressure groove to reduce high blood pressure. 
Hypertension point is also known as the relaxation point or decreased pressure point. Hypertension has five differentiations, so use the point according to pattern differentiation. These patterns are liver yang, rising with fire, kidney yin and yang deficiency, dump or phlegm, liver yin deficiency with liver yang rising, and the interior movement of liver wind. Now let's go to points four, five, and six, the sympathetic points. These are directly related to the regulation of the nervous system. The sympathetic points are also known as the autonomic points. The autonomic nervous system is made up of sympathetic and parasympathetic branches. The auricle displays only the external manifestation of the vagus nerve and thereby allows access to functions of the autonomic nervous system. The vagus nerve connects with the larynx, bronchi, heart, pancreas, liver, kidneys, intestines. They exert direct influence on the regulation of stress. The sympathetic branch of the ANS corresponds to stress, flight, fright reactions. Thus, sympathetic point, when tonified, stimulates dilation of the blood vessels. Fix, stubbing, boring pain in oriental medicine is caused by constriction or blood stagnation, which results in pain. <clears throat> So here is the comparison between <clears throat> the parasympathetic and the sympathetic divisions of the ANS or the autonomic nervous system. Mm -hmm. The parasympathetic branch of ANS governs our everyday organ functioning. <clears throat> when the sympathetic branch is dominant, the parasympathetic branch is suppressed. Stimulating sympathetic point will assist in balancing both branches of the nervous system. Stimulation causes the chi to irrigate cerebral meninges so that the point can be used to treat shock, trauma, and any nervous system disorder. Number seven is the uterus or prostate or the seminal vesicle. This is very good for reproductive problems, for gynecological disorders like dysmenorrhea, amenorrhea, PID or pelvic inflammatory disease, uterine cysts, fibroid tumors, and infertility. The uterus point <clears throat> or the prostate point relieves swelling or contracture of the scrotum. So in this case, we refer to the point as prostate point. This is good for testicular pain and prostate problems. The uterus point number seven is for Hidden point in pregnancy, and this may lead to spontaneous miscarriage. You should be avoided, as should all auricular acupuncture during pregnancy. Number eight is the constipation area. It relieves the constipation and impacted stools, and it is used to manage diverticulitis, diverticulosis, and sluggish bowels. Number nine is hepatitis point. This is one of the several hepatitis points found in the ear, including point 44, which we shall learn later on. It helps with hepatitis when used along with liver, spleen, and other points based upon your diagnosis. <laughs> and finally, we have the hip joint, number 10. It effectively relieves hip joint pain due to various etiologies. Thank you for your attention.